I'm Don Nelson, and this is the Additive Report. The other day I was reading a white paper published by 3D Systems. Uh, the paper talks about how the company's toolless digital molding process was made possible by a technology patented 30 years ago by the company's co-founder. I flash back to a shop visit I made in the late 1980s to see a then new technology in action. The suburban Chicago shop machined molds and prototypes. After a quick shop tour, the owner said, let's go see the thing. And he led me to a corner of the shop and pulled back a black curtain covering the entrance to a small dark room. In the center was the thing, an SLA that consisted of computer, a build chamber, a laser, and tank filled with amber liquid and I watched for nearly an hour as 3D printed parts were, came to life in the photopolymer resin. I was thoroughly convinced I had witnessed the future of manufacturing and seen the immediate beginning of the end for milling, turning, drilling, and all the other subtractive processes I was familiar with. I was wrong. The end didn't come immediately, nor has it come yet but sales of AM systems have increased steadily the past three decades. They quickly became the go-to equipment for rapid prototyping shops. And in the past six to eight years, they have found a home in all kinds of manufacturing companies. Estimates put the global AM market at 5.17 billion in 2015, 6.06 billion in 2016, and 7.3 billion in 2017. And they project steady growth in the coming years. Now, does that mean that AM eventually will supplant subtractive and other conventional processes as the predominant way parts are produced? No, and certainly not in my lifetime. I'm fairly old, but I've been wrong before.